This video shows how a simple ECN process can work inside of SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM. Notice we initiate our ECN from the right mouse button, and a form pops up for us to fill in the information about the, uh, this ECN. Um, now this information is on a simple data card. It could be um, a single tab, drop-down menus, toggle buttons, and and um, multiple screens for filling in all the required information for a particular engineering change. Um, in the background, what's happening is uh, Enterprise PDM is actually creating a template, and this information is uh, runs through a series of rules and checks, and then puts the the exact file into the proper location. Now, for this particular uh, ECN, we have a flow chart here, and we open the file. In the background, there's actually an, it gets populated into an Excel spreadsheet through um, just simple linked cells back to uh, the data card inside of PDM Enterprise. So you'll notice here in the preview screen of PDM Enterprise, you can see that. And as we look at the data card, you can see the information is filled in, as well as the flow chart, which shows it at a draft state. Uh, when we put the file in the database, we can make comments, effectively um, tracking our changes that we make. And then upon this check-in, we can submit this um, to uh, the appropriate party. You can see it's in a draft state there, highlighted in blue. We're going to submit for approval and send this uh, to the next stage in the workflow. Now what this will do is send out notifications to the appropriate parties and also change our flowchart so that we're now in a pending engineering approval stage. If you look at the flowchart, you can see that the green is approved and now we're pending the engineering approval. Uh, now let's say that engineer uh, rejects this or asks for new changes. You can type in those comments there as well. Uh, email then goes back to the originating party to let them know that their change is required. And also our graphic chart here will actually update as well. Uh, if you look at the history, you can see exactly when all this happened, who actually uh, initiated, what changes they requested. Um, and then again, the graphics update on the flow chart. Uh, once those changes are done, you can submit for approval, type in your additional comments here, and you can even link drawings to the CCN and have all the drawings and the actual spreadsheet uh, moving along the same flow at the same time. Uh, once those changes are effectively made, we can make comments here. We can actually make notification comments that also appear embedded in the email that goes out by the system so that everybody knows uh, exactly uh, the status of the ECN. Uh, for those interested in looking at uh, an overall picture of all active ECNs, they can also go to uh, what's called the ECN dashboard, which is just basically a custom uh, search, a saved search that, uh, that has custom column sets for doing reporting on these ECNs. So you can see you have a number of ECNs here in different stages pending approval, pending final approval, draft state. And you can sort by these. And you can see when the files were initiated, when engineering was complete, when the final approval was complete. And then once we click on the ECN, we have then access to its card with all the information on there, including the chart, um, as well as the preview for printing it out. We could look at what drawings are attached, etc. We're going to wrap up here by doing the final ECN approval. And hopefully what I've shown to you is a way for you to be able to manage process in your company in the same system where you might be managing your SOLIDWORKS assembly and drawing information. So providing a single source for process as well as uh, the documentation in a tool that's easy to use and easy for people to collect the data so they can make important decisions uh, day to day.